Is it just me or is this kind of like a good Halloween-y, creepy background vibe going on? I think this is a good pre-Halloween creepy background. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but a big open window to me is scarier than like a haunted house or a ghost in the woods or, you know, a big open window with no blinds. So this is kind of creepy to me, just thinking like I can open the blinds. Face. That. So it's been like a week maybe since I did my lore box. That was fun and I got some good stuff. That was my first one. I'm still editing that video and I got so many more boxes. At the end of my first Allure unboxing, I started my BoxyCharm. And I'm doing these with you. So I started this and we pulled out, let me see if I can pull it out without looking at anything else. This is it, it's gotta be it. And there's the box, yep. No, it's not, I just ruined something else. Okay, so I pulled this out. I tried this, this is dry. I've never tried it before. All of the stuff I've gotten, I've never tried before. So like the mascara and the Allure box, that was good stuff. I have three, technically four more to go through before October is over. I need to get my October boxes unboxed and I wanna do it with you guys because this is fun for me. I'm having a blast. But just let me show you what I'm talking about. I just went like this and I dabbed it all over. And then by the time I was done doing that, the much dabbing, yeah, it's doing it again, it's dry. So it dries down really fast. So wherever you want it, that's it. Like you have to work fast or maybe you can put some I mean, and the rest of it's on my finger. And I, yeah, see? Oh, there's a little schmear. Anyway, it just dries down really fast. That's my experience with liquid highlighters. I haven't found one that I can even name for you because I'm not a fan. So that's what, that's what we opened and then um, something came up and I had to stop. And then this fell out of the box. And so I saw this. Touch and Soul. It's pretty. And this is a pretty filter glassy skin balm. If it's anything like this box, holy moly. They're gonna be able to see me from satellite. Oh, okay, all right. Cool, boxy charm. I'm not used to this. I've gotten Ipsy. This is like my third boxy charm, and I'm not used to the full size dealios yet. Oh, oh, it's a face cream. Ah, oh, I want to read this one because I want to read if this is like a primer. Smells like nothing, which I like. I have scentsy skin. And so I have the bare face again. See, it's, I don't know if you can see, like when I was editing before, my face didn't look nearly as red as it does to me right now looking at it. Whenever I do my end of day face stuff, my eyes are beet red, my face is beet red. I don't like anything with fragrance. At the last step of skincare routine, apply evenly to face as needed to achieve dewy and glowing skin. Apply two or three times, allowing for even longer lasting wear. Wow. So it's like, okay, your last step. So this is like, you know, other things that I've seen. All right. 
And then it's like layering on nail polish, right? So like if you want the color, if you want to be dewier, you can put two or three layers of this on. Ooh, well, I just see red. I just see red. I mean, there's the highlighted finger. Okay. So, I will say it is kind of shimmery. I don't think there's glitter in this. However, it is shimmery. There's a little pinkish to it. It's just, that's my color. I'm pink. That's cool. We'll try it. I'll let you know. I mean, I can still, I can still feel it. So this might be more my cup of tea. Like if this is like a highlighter sort of thing, I would much rather have something like this than this. Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter. Just the liquid highlighter thing. Not my jam. Oh, and then I pulled this out. This is what I pulled out on accident. I went, no, I hadn't seen this yet. So cool. Something I haven't heard of. Or London, I guess I have. If it, Okay. Right on. And I really like this color. Oh, dude. It smells like basil. It smells like basil. All right, anybody else who got the London Iconic? It smells like basil. Dude, it smells like pho. Lip plumping. Oh, they got me. Lip plumping. They got me. Of my tater chip lips. And it's called Love Struck. Let's see throughout the rest of this five minute video. It will actually be like three hours, but it's going to feel like five minutes. Don't worry. Okay, look at this applicator. Look at that. I'm not, I'm doing my normal. I'm barely pushing and look at the bend. Let's see, get the rest of the other side up. Great shape. And then the bend, look at that. Ah, that's luscious. That's what that is. And look at the size of this sucker. And this is not one of those where there's, it looks gigantic, but most of it is glass. Actually it does kind of look like that on camera, but no, this puppy is full. Like the most glass there is, is at the bottom there. There is a lot of product in here. 0.17 fluid ounces. I've gotten less for an eye cream. Mm, that's good. This is a really good sized, mm. I love, you know the thing, I love having plumped lips. I love cinnamon. Even when I was a kid, I would get those cinnamon toothpicks. Oh, if you know what I'm talking about, you do. If you don't, you don't. They're old school. Like old, they were old school when I was a kid. And you just suck on them and oh so good or like cinnamon bears anyway so i love that spicy feeling yeah that's nice okay next in the box luna by luna this is Pegasus. I'm assuming it's an eyeliner. It's like a gunmetal. That's gorgeous. Man, BoxyCharm does the full size. Like, this might be the biggest eyeliner I'll have now. This is really, this is pretty. Let me get this open. Okay. Ooh. 
All right, I don't like pencils that I have to sharpen because I'm terrible at sharpening them. And I always have like a jagged edge right here. Ooh, I can already feel the splinters in my eyes. But I bet this is gorgeous. I love surprises. So I'm gonna look real quick. Yep, Luna by Luna eyeliner. I would absolutely, okay, this dragging, ooh. All right, it's sharp, but it is Okay. All right. Oh. Oh, that's good. All right. Okay. Not mad at this color at all. Just lay it sideways. It's gunmetal. This it goes on. <laughs> it goes on. I don't know what else to say about it though. I don't know if it's because it's so sharp, but it's it's not glidey by any means. Oh. Okay. Well, you can fix your mistakes right away, which is nice. It doesn't tell me if it's long lasting at all. Man, I wanna draw it right here on my cheek, just so you know, but. That's. The pencil looks blue. That's blue. That's what I'm seeing. Maybe we just have bad lighting here, but. Get some smudge in. Smudgy love. It's amazing. I do perfect makeup on camera. Ew. That was perfect. <laughs> Luna by Luna eyeliner. Highly pigmented. It is. It went on without any effort. Easy glide. Eh. Pencil eyeliners are perfect to create a full lash line or a playful colored look that lasts all day. Okay, if it lasts all day, right on. I mean, this is a color I will wear. And liquid liner, it's not for me because as you can tell, like I like to smudge and I would never be able to make a perfect wing but with this, you can and then smudge it into your wing and then blend it with a smoky. Actually, that's not bad. Just right there. So I don't know if it lasted all day and you can still play with it. 
Let's see what it does on the waterline. If it glides on the waterline. Well, it sure does. Yep, it sure does. Okay, let's try this one up here. Nope, we'll see this one better. Yep. It does. Ooh. Eyes are drying. When I do my waterline up top, I like to get right in the lashes. And this did that. Mm -hmm. You can tell the difference. So let's get the bottom. I love this. I really do. I need more in my lashes down here. And more margin. Let's see if I can work that more into my lash line. That's really pretty. I really like that. Okay. I do. I really like that. It's pretty. I like it. Reaching back into the box. All right. There's only one thing. There's only one thing left. <gasps> Blushing berries. <gasps> Get out. I have been on the hunt for pink eyeshadows or for pink eyeshadow palette that had more than one or two pinks in it. Everybody sent me to modern Renaissance. You know, it's in a pink velvet case. Well, I only liked four colors in that and that was 40 bucks. I bought it. They did it. Look at my nails and this palette. <sighs> I'm putting some on. So this brush sure does resemble the Anastasia brush. I don't like their brush. Their brush pokes the heck out of my eyes. It hurts. Look at that. The angle on that. That is so nice. So what should we do? We just put gunmetal. Should we add a little bit of this? Yep, we should have done that. Absolutely. Let's do that again. Oh. Boxy charm, you did it again. Son of a gun. Let's go a little darker up top here. And it doesn't take much, does it? That is fantastic. Boop, boop, boop. That's it. I will say the people that were beating up that Anastasia palette, yeah, you can tear up any eyeshadow if you're putting your brush in it like, <clears throat> don't do that with anything. Not even your cheapest, just don't do that. Because you don't wanna create fallout if you don't have to. And especially if you paid 40 bucks for it, like sure, you paid 40 bucks for it. You don't want half your product to fall out when you just, barely put your brush in there, but if you don't have to, if you only have to tap, 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 and you get what you, this is gonna last that forever. Let's take this one. Do, do, do. Look at that. Not even tapping it off. 
I know. I have no powder on my face. I have no primer. I have no... Nothing. I just have my serums and moisturizer, and that's it. Wow. That's it. That's all I have on my face. And look what that did. Let's do that again. Hmm? Oh, wait. This one, right? This one. Was it that one? Oh, cripes. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> well, that's all right. Because that is very pretty as well. Look at that. Look at how it's blending with this teeny tiny little this is a fantastic crease brush. It's like me. I'm very hooded. Just this tiny little bit of... Eyeshadow. Maybe I... Oh yeah, maybe. Oh no, I didn't. This tiny little bit. I go right above. See, if I just am staring, I'm not... Or going like that. I do this and just look and I don't do anything weird with my eyes because I need to create that fake high crease to lift my eye. And this is just gorgeous and it's taking nothing at all. I have my light on warm, by the way. There was this crazy girl in this other video of mine that was like, who would ever use the warm light? Ever. All right, let's see. And my camera, I also realized, adjusts <laughs> on its own to look better. That was so easy. So this Blackberry, that's black. I'm going to use the small brush to dip and test. Okay, we do have a little bit of the other color in there. Barely tapped, plenty of color. Let's do it. And this is how I create my wings. Now I went too far, I don't have a mirror, I'm going off of my camera, I go from here to here. Whoa, I went way too far out. I guess we should just go. Maybe one of these boxes will have a makeup remover. Oh no, that came right off. And then I bring it in and I create my wing, like a shadowed wing, you know, I'm barely there. Tink, tink, tink. Make that little line, match it up with the brow, your eyebrow. Right, bring it up, create that fake crease a little more, especially because on this side, I don't have the best lighting I could do with this one. And then it looks like we created a little spot right there. Lots of smudging right here. But for using like the little pencil end, that's blending pretty good. I'm not mad at that at all. And I went with the Blackberry. 
very black. I guess it was trying to tell me in a cute way that it's very black. So I'm using the bigger end again. This is not poking me at all. Like the Anastasia one, Anastasia, Anastasia ones do. Those poke me bad. Those give me the pokes. This is so lovely. Just use what's left over in there. Teeny tiny little taps. This is gonna last me a lifetime. I'll never use. Okay, let's try this one here. A whole swipe. Okay, I did not use this one then. Ooh. Tap it off, tap off the extra. Well, shit, I might have wanted to. I'm not mad at this at all. This is the finger with the, uh, the last of that uh, liquid highlighter. <laughs> it turns into a dry clay. That's what it's like to me. It's like a dry clay. That's so pretty. Dose of colors. All right. I am feeling you. Okay, now I will. This is... You know this color? Get your color cleaner. Cleaned your brush off before those were invented. That's what I would do. I would just take my brush and do that and blow. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay, there's a lot of kick up. From what I can see, not a lot happening on my eye. There's a lot of kick up. Wow. Now I'm just trying to like pat it all up into the brush. It's just creating more. Oh, oh, it's a big old fat mess. Oh, it's a big fat mess. There's no fixing that. Okay. All that, there's a ton. Okay. With a bigger brush, maybe it would help. But I would say. Huge win. Big win. Bravo. Dosa colors. Thank you. Or thank you, Boxy Charm. So that was it. This let's just put more of this on because oh, do you see that? Okay, that's upsetting because I don't want to waste any of this because this is just once again luscious. Look, the color, it's almost like it's just there for a second. Look at the brush. Look at the applicator. This is almost like a, you know, those nude nail polishes you put on that fix like discoloration in your nails. Huge fan. And then... This one that will have to give a fair chance. 
on a day when I can actually use it all over. Just once again, there we go. And I'll put on one to three coats. Are you supposed to let them dry in between coats? Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm, an ultra hydrating priming skin balm with a sensationally smooth texture that melts into your skin and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. 32 bucks. The Dose of Color Eyeshadow Palette, five pan matte eyeshadow palette. I just realized they're all matte. Love it. It's a great way to add boldness and vibrance to your eye look. Okay, $32. That's high for five. But like I said, with the exception of Berry Chic, it's all over my mirror right here. Again, could this not be <laughs> anymore? My cup of tea, what I'm feeling right now. Is this not what I'm feeling right now? Wow. Dose of colors, blushing berries, $32, fantastic. The eyeliner is the 24 hour wear, ensures that just after one application, you'll stay set all day. And it was easy to fix while I was putting it on. Huge plus for me. Winner, 16 bucks. The liquid highlighter, $29. Never, I would never. Iconic London Plumping Gloss. It's the ultimate combo of non-sticky. Nope, non-sticky, correct. Plumping Power. And I still feel the, you know, the menthol, that good plumping feeling that I like. High shine formula infused with biomimetic peptide, which helps to support natural collagen production for more defined and voluminous looking lips. When they say stuff like that, I'm like, help support natural collagen production. You have to produce collagen. So is that saying that I have to wear this? Like I have to apply it like 15 times a day to produce my own collagen. What does that mean? Uh, but 26 bucks, 26 bucks for a ton of product. I am not mad at this. I really, really like this. I would probably buy this again. It feels great. All right, winner. And that's BoxyCharm. snap one two three four five fantastic thank you boxy charm super happy next one